Isabel, they're just playing pitch and pot, Isabel. No, the lovely hens. There's onions and garlic in there. Must weed it. Lots of dock leaves. And there was a mistletoe on that little tree, but it was eaten off. There is mistletoe growing. Well, and there's a lot of mistletoe down on that bottom tree. Now, Mabel and Isabel, and there's our rooster with the nerve paralysis. I want to try and string that rose up around there properly on that archway to get it to grow down. That is a beautiful day so far. It's just beautiful. I've got like so much to do, but anyway, the weather is a great help now. There he goes. It's the right leg. Now I gave it a bit of a, of a massage and a bit of hot water last night, just in case there was anything in the foot. But I didn't really think there was anything in the foot. See, he's what he's doing on the right side now. And I tried a proprioception, proprioception test on him last night and he wasn't able to sense the granite counter on his right side and lift his leg up but he was on his left left side so he didn't have proper awareness of his environment um, that was obstructing his foot that he had to lift his foot but he didn't do that so he didn't doesn't have proper nerve sensation on the right side and a few days ago the hawk was very swollen but, but I'm hoping now that if I get some some more medication and some John, St. John's wort I don't know if I'll get it fresh but I uh, should get some dried anyway it'll be better than nothing into the feed but the others will get it as well <laughs> hopefully it won't be any harm to the others um, so I wanted to take some photos of the baby goats as well so there he is uh, hopping along but it looks now like it's nerve damage because the hawk is swelling has come down uh, poor old boy and there doesn't seem to be anything in the foot I bathed it last night and I massaged the whole leg didn't I lad Oh, he must have yanked it some way and damaged the nerve. I hope nerves can be slower to heal. Yeah, that's the pea and bean bed this year. I must finish digging out all the potatoes and lime it. And the broad beans haven't really come up. A few of them have. Oh, there's baby goat. And I put mistletoe seeds on this tree. And they're still there. It looks like something kind of ate that one. I feel my own light. And there's another one here. Ah, uh, it's there. There's another one. Just there. It's hard to see it on the side. But anyway, just there. And then that's where the main mistletoe is growing. And I was worried about that tree, but I put the tea tree oil on it. And it looks like it might live. Goats gave it a right gnawing a few years ago. But now I've got some good fencing, electric fencing. That stops the babies getting out. Now I took the ivy off that tree. Brian did it. And this is the root vegetable bed and the rhubarb. And strawberries, but I must weed this and prepare it for parsnips, carrots and beetroot. And there's... All the babies there. Are you all there? Are you all there? Where are your mothers? Where's your dad? Huh? You're all there now. I need to choose. And we move that shelter up. Because some of the weather patterns are just not good. I want to move that back and put um, a covered dust bath area for the goats there that I had started. Rhubarb, I've already had one cutting. Hello! Are you all there? All seven of you, or is there two in that little house there? Are you all there? No. Oh, a bit of weeding to do. Oh, the hens are laying like crazy. It must be the whiskey and the goat's milk. 
honey and uh, cod liver oil. I'm putting manure around all the trees and I pruned them. Uh, so blossoms are starting to come up out. Now I put some potatoes in there, four, and I put at least ten in there. So I have more area to prepare and then bring more manure up. Now you had a thing on your legs as well, but kind of a scaly thing, but I put all that stuff in their feet and they're laying very well. And I pruned the trees and uh, hoping for some pears and plums. This year I'm putting manure around the bottom of the trees. Magnolia is starting to come out and I pruned it so that it will grow up. Garlic there and that's a pear tree. And this is my almond tree. Hen houses. Hen house. Uh, drying my clogs there because they got very wet. And we have another pair ordered. But the blossoms are coming out on that almond. The, the branches start to go kind of whiny colour red and then the, the blossoms come. I take my old cameras out. And the hens are laying very well and I grass seeded. That area there because everywhere is very cut up. The manure pile and the compost pile. My cameras in there and the blossoms starting, to, beautiful blossoms starting to come on the almond tree. They look very woody in the winter but then they start to go in a wine colour and then the blossoms start to come. They're a beautiful, beautiful blossom. They're all a bit high up there and this is some cuttings of magnolia and an almond tree cutting. I sent some down to Cork but I don't know if they lived but see the branches start to go wine and, and the blossoms come out. So they look can look very woody. But aloe vera I'd say is dead. It's kind of gone mad in the kitchen, so I put it out in the snowy weather and it's all dead. But see the blossoms coming on the almond cutting and the magnolia cuttings should live. Let's see, can I get an angle here? My clogs drying. Uh, oh, it's hard to get until the blossoms come out lower down, it's hard to see them quite high up. But I think that tree is okay. That's it, I must get back and do some jobs. Uh, blossoms are coming out. Oh, it's good to see a good dry day, thankfully. <laughs>